Hi, I'm going to show you a really easy way to have your students share all of their projects and documents throughout the whole year very easily without having to type in the email address of their teacher every single time, um, always having that chance to make a mistake. So the first thing you need to do is have your students log into their Google account. So within their Google account, they're going to create a folder. I would have my students um, in my fourth grade class name the folder their student number and then their last name, first name. Um, if you have, if you don't use student numbers, just last name. This way when you get the folders, they're in an order that you can easily find them. They're all alphabetized, they have the same format. So they create a folder. Now right now the only person that can see that folder is the student. They want to make sure that the teacher has access to this. So you need to right click, share that folder. And they're going to share that folder with the teacher. So I'm going to share it with myself. Make sure that you do have editing rights. Um, anything that's being put into this folder will carry over those rights. So every document the student puts in here, when it's shared with the teacher, the teacher has editing rights. So you click Share and Save, click Done, and you're all set. You've created a folder. Now all the student has to do is every time they create a document, and they're typing away, and they want to share this with you. Of course, you have to title it. Now normally you would always have them go over to the share button, add that teacher on, a lot of steps that maybe they may forget, so you're always asking a certain student or something, you know, you need to share that with me, I did, and certainly they usually forget to do that. All they have to do now is go back into their drive, take that document they just made, drag it into their shared folder. Now anything that's in there is going to show up. Now they need to, you need to make sure that you have access to it. So in your drive, if you go to the shared with me, you'll have that folder that the student shared with you. I always just drag that into, in my classroom folders, I would make one and name it student work. Create that folder. Drag each one of your students' folders into there. Access that. Click into my folder there. Click on any of those documents that student puts in there. And you'll see I have full editing rights. I can make comments. I can type and add notes. without having to constantly type in that teacher's email address. Just one very easy way to make sure that all your students' files make it into your drive.